All right, I'm here with Greg and Pam Ayers and George and Jill Gazzardo, Life Founders, and Lorraine, a friend who connected uh, George and Jill and Greg and Pam. And we're doing just kind of a little informal interview with um, some of the, the things that basically where All Grace Outreach and Gap Ministries connected and just wanted to get a little bit of an overview and how all of you guys got connected. So. I don't know if George and Jill, you want to start? Well, well for me, uh, uh, Lorraine Elephant is a great friend of ours, and she runs a, an insurance company in town uh, who knew about All Grace Outreach, and she knew what we were about, and she knew that we were involved in looking at local, uh, let's say, uh, entities that were involved in making a difference in various levels, widows, orphans, and those types of things. Lorraine got us connected with Greg and Pam and Gap because she said, I've got just the right people you need to meet. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went out to lunch uh, just getting to know them. And after we got to lunch and getting to know them, uh, as you read this story that Kristen's going to be producing, you'll see uh, God's providence all over this story uh, from corporate backgrounds to the middle of the desert <laughs> with no reason to even be here is a perfect example of God leading you in the direction that's gonna make the most difference uh, in the world and his kingdom. And uh, what a perfect story when Jill and I, who were uh, seeking to find people like this, obviously God connected us. Uh, the little bit that we're making a difference in, in the AGO donations uh, is far too little. Uh, all I can tell you is that our intention is to grow the AGO uh, aspect, the dimension of life leadership, grow it larger because we want to use uh, God's kingdom's money and we want to take that money and bring it to people like Greg and Pam to make a difference in God's kingdom. And so we know that we have a long way to grow or we're starting, but we believe we got connected in the right direction. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you expand that? Anything? Oh, um, I would, how did you come to um, even connect us? Well, I was uh, uh, Gap Ministries um, insurance broker, and uh, like I've said today earlier, just in sitting and talking with Pam, she always inspires me. I can walk out of there, and we may have been talking about business, but she always brings in God. She always brings in what, um, what they're about, and that was really special to me. And then just being here as their insurance broker and watching them in action, um, it was just amazing to me. I'm always in awe with uh, this program. So George came to me and Jill and asked, is, did I know they were new to our community here? Did I know of anyone because they have um, AGO money in which to apply and they just would like to have some recommendations? And I said, oh my goodness, do I have the right people for you? Mm -hmm. So, and that was the connection and it's just, uh, in, you know, growing. Strong. Yeah. I remember the day we went to lunch with uh, George and Jill. It was uh, one of those days that, as leaders, sometimes you feel like you're leading by yourself and you don't have the people around you that hold your arms up. And when we met with them, I thought, these are people I need to hang around. You know, these are leaders that will continue to push us forward and not us having to pull them with us yeah. or yeah. have to create a culture for. They already had that in them. And so having lunch with them poured into us and made us feel like, wow, God's sending incredible people to our city to link arms to accomplish more than we can do by ourselves because together we can get so much more done. Um, so it was one of those days I was going, oh. <laughs> thanks God for sending somebody our direction who's gonna like hold our arms up and encourage us. And um, again, not it wasn't about whether you're gonna donate to us or not, it was about, you know, these are people who have yeah. Um, things I needed, relationships, um, education, um, just uh, friendship, you know, and I know we haven't got to hang out enough. You guys are so all over the, the country. Yeah, talk but, about you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, but I'm sure, you know, you're those kind of people that you know, I know you just when I meet you and you feel like old friends even though you haven't spent mm -hmm. a ton of time together. Um, so thank you for your friendship. That was, that was it, because when, um, when just meeting you guys, there's such a strong parallel. It blew my mind completely from the very beginning when you talked about your, your close friend that died 
And then same thing with Lauren and my brother. And I still get emotional. I got emotional then, I still do. That was a catalyst and it changed everything. And it was the same with us. And then you look at how much you guys have grown and what you've done in so many areas. It's absolutely incredible. And yet so different from what we do, but we have the same thing. 